Hey, what's up guys, Tony Dubbed here, and several months ago, um, when Windows 10 got released, I experienced a problem which I've one of the most viewed um, YouTube videos out there uh, because of it, which is basically when you have a graphics card and you install Intel's updates um, via Windows Update, or you install the drivers for Intel, and you're running um, a graphics card, be it AMD or NVIDIA, which is in my case, or you run, I don't know, um, cheeky monkey um, something crappy GPU, then you're still going to have the same problem. Basically, the PC wouldn't, will not boot. Um, let's just restart, piss off Windows. Um, and you'll get a flashing screen, as you can see right now, on standby, and your mouse and keyboard won't work. In order to solve this, you have to disable the drivers and disable... Um, Disable the drivers and disable the um, uh, uh, the Intel iGPU on the BIOS, which I am sure a lot of people will not know how to do because they're inexperienced with computers and or just don't know how to find that button, be it on a PC or a laptop. We're talking fundamentals here uh, from uh, Windows and uh, Microsoft and Intel. However, with me, I'm someone who's techie and I'm going to find a solution to this and that was basically to disable that uh, driver. But let's put it fast forward into now we're October the 14th. I've received an update for Intel saying, hey, update your drivers. I chose, no, I do not want to install my drivers. However, I am now forced to do so because on Microsoft Windows 10, you cannot disable updates. And if you defer the updates, it defer the updates for everything. So now I'm stuck in a dilemma. Can I install or shall I install the updates? I say, okay, you know what? Maybe they sorted their shit together. But take it from me, they haven't. So what I'm gonna do now is show you what I'm, the steps that I'm gonna try and figure out this crap that Microsoft have done. So first of all, I'm going to go back into my, if I can find it, that would be great. Um, okay, go into my graphics configuration and put in iGPU as my main primary um, display. I'm gonna exit out, save and reset, now that monitor should not work because it's running on DVI, it's a single input DVI-D monitor, the Cunix QX2710. Again, people who are in my situation who have only one monitor are not going to be able to do what I'm doing right now because I have happen to have a secondary monitor which goes via HDMI. And the reason I'm saying this is because my motherboard has HDMI output as a primary display output. So now you can see at the bottom, the bottom primary onboard memory, onboard iGPU is working, but the, the one that was uh, my, my PCIe, my graphics card, is not going to work. So again, going same through, through the same steps, again, it's via HDMI, you can see it connected there. What I should have right now is a complete boot, and I will be able to log in on here, but obviously my GPU, my NVIDIA GTX, 960 will not be running, which is completely pointless for people who game or actually have a GPU. So right now, look, iGPU is the main primary. That has come up as a secondary display. I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna log in right now. We're connected right now. So right now I've got that as a display and I've got that as a display. Again, I am using iGPU as my primary display driver. So now, let's go into shitty Windows updates. Now it's updating a bunch of updates. I have no idea why it's doing this. Right, I'm back guys. So the update is done and I'm gonna hit restart now. I wanna just show you the update um, schedule just to see, view your update history. You can see over, where is it? There, 1310, which is, well, today. It's, well, now past midnight. 1310, Intel Corporation graphics driver WDDM 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, all the same crap. HD 4000 graphics. If you go into Device Manager, you'll be able to see the two displays are now there. Right, so what we're gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna restart the PC because of this Windows update, and then I'm gonna disable that driver, um, disable that driver and then disable in the BIOS and you'll be able to see I'll be 
able to boot off via my PCIe graphics card again rather than have to worry um, about the iGPU. So the updates are installed, that is fine. I'm not going to reverse them simply because I'm going to be told, hey, reinstall these updates and I'm going to go into another circle. So I'm going to go to the display drivers, I'm going to bring you up close to this so I show you what I do. Um, over here, Intel HD graphics, disable, yes. So now I have disabled the Intel HD 4000 graphics, now I'm going to restart. So I'm going to restart and I'm going to spam the delete key in order to get the BIOS. So as you remember before, um, restart anyway, um, as you remember before I had to um, uh, I had to make it my primary display, now I'm going to make PCIe my my graphics card um, my primary display. PCIe is the socket type on your motherboard by the way. So now my motherboard is being displayed there at the bottom because iGPU is my primary display. You can see over here. So I'm just going to go and do the same thing. If I can again remember where it was. Yep, graphics, PCIe and that is fine. Save changes, yes. So now PCIe, now we're going to go back up top and there we go. So just to double check, I'm going to go, I think I've got GPU Z. GPU Z and as you'll be able to see right there, my primary one is a GTX 960. Hopefully you can see that, well no you can't see that because again my camera, but you're able to see over here that my primary display is the GTX 980, uh, 960, sorry. I can go to control panel, I can even open device manager. Again, you can see primary display over here is my DVI, which is my QNIX monitor. And again, in device manager, you can see the HD 4000 graphics are disabled. And again, I'm going to go into update and you'll be able to see check for updates, updates should be fully done but if I go to advanced options, view your update history these updates are still installed um, oh god, these updates are still installed but we are running off the PCIe, i.e. the graphics card now so there we go Microsoft, Intel, I welcome you to sort your shit together but in the meantime guys, hopefully this is a fix for you guys. You need a secondary display to do this and you need to be able to go into your BIOS and change that in primary display. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit of a rant and me being annoyed, but it's just my frustrations over this operating system, which I can't quite comprehend of the developers fix sending out updates and then screwing uh, loads of millions of consumers out. Alright guys, totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.